We have a wonderful band here today. I've heard their music. I play them on my radio show. And uh, my name is Mrs. Bluegrass. I will be your MC tonight. And happy and proud to bring on the first act tonight from Nashville and other places. All right, please give a big IBMA welcome for Golden Schultz.
We are Golden Shoals, and we'll have y'all know that we need a little bit more fiddle on the monitor, if you can, Nathan. Thank you. Uh, we're so happy to be here. It's actually, we've played at the courthouse before a, a handful of years ago when we showcased here before, although we were a different name back then, so I guess... We were here last year with Twisted Pine as well, yes. not at IBMA. Not at IBMA. And yes, with the same name. <laughs> but uh, we've got some special guests up here with us. Golden Shoals is usually just a duo, myself and Mark Kiliansky. But uh, we got some very special guests joining us on the banjo. We got Brad Kolodner. Hi, hi. Oh, we got fans. We got fans. And back here on the bass, Mr. Alex Lacomont. And uh, both of them are joining us in, from Baltimore, Maryland, where they have, uh, they have a pretty thriving old time scene, I dare say. We started out there with the old classic Columbus Stockade Blues. And uh, we got our version actually from uh, an old, old Bluegrass Boys recording that's pre Lester Flat and Earl Scruggs Bluegrass, Bluegrass Boys. <laughs> One fan of pre, pre Lester Flat and Earl Scruggs. So we are on a mission to make bluegrass old time again. That doesn't actually mean anything. But then we went to an actual old time tune called uh, Texas John that we got from the fiddling of Emily Dickerson from Kentucky. Yeah, she was an amazing filler up there. But uh, we're gonna move to some original material now. This is one I wrote right when Mark and I landed in Asheville, North Carolina. We lived down there for a few years and this Song talks about my favorite bar called the Double Crown, where there's country karaoke on ones, um, Monday nights, Western Swing Wednesday on Wednesday nights, and a big Hank Williams shrine by the bathroom. So, needless to say, I've done my fair share of tipsy two step in there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
thank you so much. Amy and I met up in Boston about 13 or 14 years ago. We were up at a school up there. You may have heard of it. We're not going to mention its name. I don't know why. No particular reason. you got to have an air of mystery to your performance, right? Something uh, for people to come up and talk to you about after the show. Anyway, so uh, Amy grew up in Southern California playing classical violin. I was about to play wait, say wait class I was about to say classical fiddle. <laughs> and then I grew up in New Jersey playing uh, heavy metal and jazz, along electric guitar. And uh, we met, and we both met all these fiddle players and banjo players, and we're getting into the music at the same time. And uh, we were kind of, you know, we were kind of both insecure because we didn't grow up playing this style of music. We bonded over that. We had some classes together. Ended up being roommates for a little while in a big music house. And uh, that's when we really started playing together and hitting out, going on the road and going down to festivals like Clifftop and Galax and Mount Airy and stuff like that. Getting really into this music. Yeah, we actually met Brad and Alex at a square dance of all things at Clifftop. That was a little over 10 years ago. So anyways, uh, we, we all really love old time music, obviously. Um, and we're gonna do a song that was written by a woman named Helen Cochran, who was from Hillsvale, Virginia. Uh, her husband was in a band, and I think she played with them sometimes, but this is the only song she's ever known to have written or recorded, and it's a beautiful song called The Pinnacle Mountain Silver Mine. <laughs> Thank you. 
do a fun little instrument switch yeah um, how many of you guys came here because of Mark Kiliansky's spicy memes on Instagram nobody <laughs> I, I came I came for the memes probably some people didn't come because of the spicy memes <laughs> if you don't know what we're talking about you can check it out on our Instagram page you have to see it to believe it we are Golden Shoals if you don't know us that's what we call ourselves um, you know, when asked about the band name, we say we used to have a different name, but uh, we got a nonverbal cease and desist letter and uh, from another band that had a similar name, and uh, the clock was ticking down. We only had a couple weeks to pick a name because we had to get ready to get our new album ready for release, and I was thinking of the word golden, and we drove past Muscle Shoals. Brad and I are going to switch places. <laughs> Hello, this is Brad Kalander from WAMU <laughs> Bluegrass Country. That's a pretty good impression, actually. Here's a song I wrote the first time I went hitchhiking. I was trying to get from Leesburg, Virginia to Winchester. It was 40 miles and I got three rides. The first was from a stoner, the second one was from a Bible thumper, and the third was from some bar owners that I had played for not a year earlier. Some divine providence, if you will. It's called Coffee in the Morning. Play tune with this bread. They do. Busted up, broke down and cried. 
whiskey in the evening, tobacco in the middle of the day. Laughing in the sunshine, crying in the nighttime, trying to sing my blues away. to the true duo because as we said earlier in the set Golden Shoals is Mark Kiliansky over here and myself Amy Alvey just have to make sure I take off this mic clip this is the first time I failed to wear like pants for my special little belt so I improvised how's that going for me we'll see yeah we've been uh, traveling around we went on our first tour in uh, 2013, 10 years ago. And uh, that's, not, that's not as long as some bands out there, but we've seen, we've seen bands come and go in our time. And it's really nice to be out here doing it and keep this musical relationship thriving and flourishing. We're thriving. Can't you see? We're thriving. Look at us. Look at us, thriving. We're gonna do, gosh, this was like, I wrote this song kind of right at the beginning of when Mark and I were really starting to road dog it. I was actually hired as a side person. I, I broke my lease in Boston. Or one, the week I decided to break my lease, my, my plan was to go live in Colorado for the fall and try and find a van. But then like within the week, my friend had called me uh, to hire me for this, this, this job being a fiddle player in a bluegrass band in Cincinnati. And I ended up meeting, you know, a pretty cool guy who was trying to make me, make it very comfortable for me to just conveniently stay there. But it was sort of the beginning of, of my, my rambling time. You know, you just, I gotta go, baby, I gotta ramble. You know, that's bluegrass music, right? Yeah, baby. <laughs> this is called Too Many Reasons to Run. My beating heart is in your head. My beating heart is in your hands But you can count on me to disappear when it's more than having fun I've got too many reasons to run I was just a stranger passing through
But they're all just bad excuses Cause really I've got none Thank you. We're just we're just doing a lot of road songs today. That was a road song. Uh, and the one before that was, was the hitchhiking song. Now we're gonna do one about the first time I went to Montana. Uh, growing up in New Jersey, you know, it's a very densely populated place and uh, didn't get a lot of nature. My parents don't like camping. So I, um, well, the first time I got to go to Montana in 2016, I was really just blown away by the landscape and the scenery. I was working on this farm really working hard, and my boss took me out one day and gave me a break, and I watched the buffalo roam in this rolling pasture with the mountains off in the distance. And I had a banjo with me, so I started writing this song, a little piece of cowboy existentialism called Old Buffalo. And uh, we changed it and put it to a double guitar setting in honor of Norman and Nancy Blake. We got some Blake fans out there. The king.
Thank you very much. We're going to invite our friends back up to the stage here. Brad Kalander and Alex Lacomont. Yeah. Give it up. They're playing with us all week here. And it's fantastic. We're going to do, uh, so I mentioned our name change, and when we changed our name, we released a self-titled album called Golden Shoals. And we really had things going great, ramping up to that, and uh, then March 2020, the things that happened, happened the way that they happened, and we released our album in uh, the summer of 2020. But we persevered through, and we're really happy to be playing these songs out live and bringing them to the people. This next song is the last song, and probably the best song on that album, Whoa. if you ask me. Oh, tell them, Mark, tell them. I mean, it's a tough choice, but this is a good one. Yeah, I think a lot of musicians can relate. You hear a lot of messed up stuff on the news, and like, here we are just playing our little gigs in the towns, and it feels, you feel hopeless, so it's called Sitting Pretty. Busting his ass. Mama raised the kids, now she lives off the cash. Sister and husband, baby, make three. They can't take the time off in this economy. And I'm sitting pretty, dragging a smoke. I'm sitting pretty, ain't that a joke? Oh, I'm sitting pretty, dragging a smoke. I'm sitting pretty, ain't that a joke? Madman's in the White House begging for war. West Coast is burning just to settle the score. Hurricane Irma, Jose and Nate, it won't take too much water just to flood through the gates. And I'm sitting pretty, dragging a smoke. I'm sitting pretty, ain't that a joke? Oh, I'm sitting pretty, dragging a smoke. I'm sitting pretty.
It doesn't happen often, got my show on the road. My trouble in my won't let me sleep, cause my worry like a knife that keeps cutting me deep. And I'm sitting pretty, dragging a smoke. I'm sitting pretty, ain't that a joke? Oh, I'm sitting pretty, dragging a smoke. I'm sitting pretty, ain't that a joke? Thank you. 